Gerald Ford, president, mm-hmm. used to ex president. He was on the cover of Cosmo. You want to bring that up? Yes, I do. Cosmopolitan magazine for those not down with the lingo. This is a great named website, by the way, where I found this. Legends Revealed. Mm. The design of the website. <laughs> Back in the 90s. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> looks very, <laughs> very 90s. And I'm getting advertised some jewellery. Lovely. Which is great. Uh, anyway, I thought, thought we could start by talking about Ford's, before we get into how he ended up being on the cover of Cosmo, mm-hmm. his path to the presidency. Did you watch House of Cards with Kevin Spacey? I didn't. I tried to get into it. Pretty scant. I couldn't, yeah, I couldn't get into it. Couldn't yeah. get into it. Oh, oh it's amazing. Um, uh, so he kind of finagles, is that the right word? His way up to the top. He basically, spoiler alert, becomes the president by not being elected, but by kind of manipulating his way okay. up the ranks. Yep. Gerald Ford kind of did the same thing, except mm-hmm. he wasn't a dick about it. <laughs> like in House of Cards, he definitely, you know, screws people over to get there. Yeah. Whereas Gerald Ford was the vice president, uh, became the vice president when the vice president at the time resigned from office. So he replaced him. And then Nixon resigned after Watergate and Gerald Ford was his vice president. So he became president. So he sort of just slipped into yeah. all the right gaps. Exactly. Right? So he just kind of resigned his way up. <laughs> and he's the only only president who's never been elected to the office. Interesting. Whether vice presidential office or presidential office. There you go. Interesting, right? Anyway, um, I thought that's just a fun note of history. Uh, now, before we get into it, just go back to the doc for a second. Mm. Because I thought, oh, it's interesting. You know, he's on the cover of Cosmo. And I, you know... A joke at Trump's expense would be like, he probably wouldn't be on the cover of Cosmo because, you know, he's a strange looking man. Mm -hmm. Um, But there you go. There he is (laughs) on the cover of Playboy. Playboy. Uh, The the difference, of course, is... um, Is is that Politico.com link to the the thing about him being on Playboy? Because that would be better than us just looking at it up like dark oh yeah okay he's just such an unlikable man isn't he i don't like him um i anyway this is his magazine so i'm like well okay so i'm like okay he's on the front of playboy but he's also on the front of his own magazine all the time because it's his magazine and of course his daughter he's been on many many magazine covers uh but the big difference between him and gerald ford is that Gerald Ford was on there before he wasn't anybody. He was mm. on there as a male model. Oh! Yeah, it wasn't like, oh, nice. you're the president, or like, you're a notable businessman. It's like, you're a, you were a male model. How did he get there? Um, he's smart, he goes to Yale, and he studies law, but then he's like, I gotta, gotta go fight for my country. Pearl Harbor happens. And he's uh-huh. like, screw this legal career, I'm gonna go and serve. He's awesome. He gets a bunch of medals. Turns out a bit of a legendary war hero wow. as well. So okay. that's good. Um, and anyway, his first serials girlfriend around this time is a model. And they go away for some trip together. Uh, and it's kind of sponsored by this magazine. And it's like this young, attractive war hero and his model girlfriend's going away on this vacation. They make like uh-huh. a magazine piece about it. And boom, there you go. He's on the front of Cosmo magazine. And is this it here? Is that, is that the picture there? Uh, scroll down. Oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. Dude, also magazine covers were different in the past. It they looks were. almost like a painting. Great. Amazing. I look, well, I think it is a painting, isn't it? 